What is Animal Crossing? Good morning guys, it is currently 11 something Monday morning, <sighs> to be honest I'm feeling a bit like meh, like every Monday I guess, so I set up my week but I don't know I'm feeling a bit like slow, like I'm just procrastinating here, I don't, I don't even, well I'm going to start um, actually doing this duplicate stitch that I've got here on my piece it's that I've done that much already and I've got the rest of this to go and it's meant to be like a really cool wavy like um 70s wavy sort of style so I still have this to do which I think I will keep doing now but but this is sort of my procrastinating sort of thing kind of not really I don't know <sighs> right now I'm watching some YouTube videos so that I can like get in the groove of a Monday. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go out. It was so beautiful. It was like balmy, like beautiful balmy days where you feel like you're invincible and you can do anything. I don't know if anyone gets that feeling, like when it starts getting warmer and you're like, oh, I can do stuff, do stuff. But we're in our sixth lockdown still. So I guess if I wanted to go out, I could have gone to those protests, but um, I'm all about staying safe and staying in. Mm kind of like everyone on the internet, I'm like an introvert. But when the lockdowns like first happened, I didn't bother me. It doesn't really affect my life that much. I'm already at home a lot. I re like I work from home. Um, so it, yeah, it didn't bother me too much, but I don't know. I think a sixth lockdown, which is the equivalent, it's the equivalent of having like 200 and something days inside. I think someone counted or it was in the news. It was like something 100 days inside and it just, I think I found my limit. <laughs> it's its a sixth lockdown and a seventh lockdown, so it's like, wow, well, all right. But having said that, like, it's such a first world problem being asked to stay home in, you know, where I have my all my crafting. I have and so many things to do. I have my internet, Netflix, YouTube. Like, I can get things delivered here. But not from Ikea. Ikea is wildly expensive to deliver here. Like, I was looking up something to get sent here from Ikea. It's like 70 bucks. Which is crazy. It, that, that is damn crazy, stupid, crazy. I'm going to redo my room to like an office sort of space eventually. So I'm going to have a whole video on that. And I think that'd be really fun. And I'm finally going to like make it a space that's like office space because right now this room that you can see is my that's my dresser and wardrobe so it's my closet slash office so I really want to my plan is to get everything in my closet uh what's that dresser sorry get everything in my dresser into my closet so that that space is clear yeah minimize everything into the wardrobe over there and then and then have this space for storage because this room doesn't have any drawers. I have no drawers in here. So that, that's why everything's a bit messy, I think. I've got one drawer here on my table, you can see, but I'm gonna get drawers here and behind there. And then that yarn storage will pretty much stay the same, but I'm gonna go into it in the video. So I, I, have, I have a plan and I have time to execute it. So I think that's like ideal for someone like me who overthinks and um, changes her mind every like two seconds. So hopefully this works out. So it's actually kind of difficult to have a video every week for like a knitting channel because of how like I've set myself up. I make a video for every piece I do because like it will help other knitters visually to see and they'll like it 
and like for me I know like how important it was to have a video on something because I'm one of those people that likes to learn sort of on their own I don't really like to ask questions so if I don't get something I'm not the kind of person that would email the like the um, designer and be like how do I do this I would just try and figure it out and if I can't figure it out I'll just leave it so I wanted to give that option to people who are like self learners that like to just like learn everything in like one spot to watch videos and do all that stuff and learn from that um but like obviously I don't mind if people email me as well or um, message me on Instagram um like if you dm me on Instagram I don't mind if you need patent support like that or via email um I'm on Instagram every day so like that's probably the best way to contact me to be honest but I do check my emails every day as well but I won't check them really at night so so yeah if you like need patent support then that's how you can contact me right now I'm doing a duplicate stitch on my piece here it's really really chill and calming and I love it it's just very long I would say tedious but it's actually really nice I kind of really really enjoy it it's very similar to um cross stitch which was one of my first things that I ever did I loved doing cross stitch at school I remember the first time I did it, I was like this is so cool you just make these little x's and it turned into a thing it's like when you like have those things where you you're zoomed in and then you zoom out and then you see it it's like a picture and I'm like oh yeah it's um this duplicate stitch is very similar but instead of making like an x you make like a v on the stitch because um you're just following a knit stitch so it's actually really this actually feels really nostalgic to me and really like easy and chill but um and it's a bit easier on my hands as well while I make sure I keep stretching them so I don't get RSI and stuff because yeah I'm feeling it like my shoulders and I'm very I'm kind of terrible at stretching at intervals so I have to make sure I keep doing that um anyway I feel like I've just rambled on about my Monday because we're in lockdown I can't go get buttons for it and I'd love to just get buttons to finish off the piece so I could wear it but um I, yeah I can't get buttons so I might have to order them online from like spotlight or something but I kind of want to go see I like I want to bring my thing in and then have a look at how it looks because I like to see it visually there like on my piece but yeah and then I just have to I think order it in if I want my buttons soon So I have just moved out here now into my lounge room with my puppy but I kind of like coming out here a lot more because um, it's a lot warmer out here than it is in my room so I'm always like out here and plus the TV is here so I can just watch my shows and stuff but I was just admiring my daisies I got from the garden.
and the poppies. So it is almost four o'clock now. So the Arvo is usually when I sort of chill a bit and I get this like beautiful, there's a beautiful light that comes in from this window and over here as well. And I just love it in here during the afternoon. It's like really, really relaxing to sit and knit to. Um, I've started watching a lot more vlogs lately, like studio vlogs. It's been quite relaxing, but I've noticed a common theme in all of these vlogs. And they're mostly like a sticker, making studio vlogs like um people who make stickers and draw things and it's all really really cute and i love it but everyone plays animal crossing what is animal crossing somehow i have managed to avoid animal crossing my entire life and now it's like popping up in every single one of these vlogs and they draw things from animal crossing without knowing what animal crossing is going off the name what it looks like when the Pfizer vaccination finally gets here and 18 to 39 year olds can finally get vaccinated and everyone has to rush to get it. Like literally animals crossing? I keep thinking it's like a Neopets or something or maybe some sort of Sims, but I've never played Sims. So I have, I don't know if it's, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know. I've managed to avoid everything about it online. I've never seen it. I've never seen a gameplay of it. Well, I sort of have. It just kind of looks a little bit like Sims. So I, I do, I play like a lot of Nintendo games. That was like what I played growing up, but I'm trying to figure out, I, I don't know what Animal Crossing is and I, I'm kind of afraid to get it. I got um, Nintendogs. Is it like that? I never played that. I got, I got a bit bored because there was um, no killing or racing. Well, I haven't looked after my Nintendog, so maybe there is killing. Hey, do you have to try and get animals somewhere? Are there even animals in it? Is it about P, is it? Like, people looking after animals. You're a person looking after another person who's looking after animals. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up right now and see what it is. But I feel like I don't want to look it up as well because I'm afraid I'll get addicted to it. Okay, what is Animal Crossing? It's a social simulation video game. Oh, so it's like a Sims, but you can socialize? Enjoy life. I could use some of enjoying life. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, here, simulation game. A, village, a villager customized by the player who after purchasing a getaway package, you move to a deserted island, catch bugs and fish. Oh, here we go. There's a whole article on this. If you, like me, have no idea what the hype is about, this story is for you. I finally asked, what is Animal Crossing? You create a digital avatar, arrives in a small... Make the island your home, natural resource into selling buying goods throughout the region. Balloons holding presents. Balloons holding presents. Is it like in Hunger Games where they send you stuff in those little parachutes? You visit islands. You can invite your friends. Where's the animals? I don't understand the animal part. This sounds like a game my husband would love. He sort of has games that they do things on their own in the game. This is not a great explanation of his games. I don't even know the name of his games. Like he plays them on his phone and iPad and stuff. I'd no idea what it is, to be honest. I wonder if I'd get addicted to it. I wonder if I can get it on the DS. Would it work the same? Like if I got it on the DS and then you can play it. But the thing is, I don't really want to get it. But at the same time, I feel like if I did get it to try it, because I love cute things, maybe if I didn't like it, I could just give it to my husband because he would play it. He 10 out of 10 would play it because clearly he doesn't have enough games. 
Just give me a sec. I'm at the hard part of my thing here. So I'm going to just focus on this for a second. And I'm hoping this works. This part of my design I'm sort of making up as I'm going and I think it's working out. I'm going to find out when I do this. So here we go. Yeah, so this was just basically the vlog, just me working on my designs. Um, should get out of the house more, I think. Maybe one day when the lockdowns end and we're all vaccinated and stuff. But I just, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got a little insight into some of my days of working. And yeah, so thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.